Hello there. Welcome to a top secret location just off the shore of the Cocos Keeling Islands. Today I'm here to review the 2012 through 13 Techie Toys Death Row. This was in Techie Toys' smaller line of uh, thrashing props, and Death Row is probably, I think he was the most popular out of the thrashing line. Between uh, him, the insane serial killer and thrashing clown, I think this one definitely sold the best, and it was also sold the longest. This is my favorite one out of that line, and I've always just had a soft spot for him. I remember when I was like really little, I used to be terrified of this guy because of how genuinely pained he sounds. Like his soundtrack is really good. Mine's not the loudest. Like out of all my techie props, he's probably the quietest, which is strange, but it doesn't really matter much. It's not like the mechanism is any louder than the sound, which is good. I hate when props are like that. Uh, looking at you, wheelchair granny and 2016 techie boogeyman. I hate that prop. Yeah, he was originally sold in 2012, and at that point he still used the older uh, techie thrashing mechanism. And then he was remade in 2013 using the newer thrashing mechanism that was used also on Thrashing Clown. He's, I don't really know how tall he is exactly, but he's basically just a regular dude sitting in a chair. Also, you can sit him on the floor, but it looks dumb as hell. I usually have him sitting on one of my wooden kitchen chairs, and uh, because of that, I kind of keep him dis displayed behind that table on the chair, so I had to move him out to make a review so I could get actually okay lighting. Speaking of lighting, he has a lot of LEDs. He has, I think, a couple in his head, and then a bunch in his hands where it like connects to the thing. He's pretty, pretty, pretty detailed, although his face looks a little, a little weird in some aspects. Mine seems to be thinner than others. That might be because I, this is like the newest model, although I still have seen the newer versions of it that uh, don't look like this. <laughs> this one's very thin for some reason. In these uh, wires that connect to his like shirt, he there's a bendable metal wire in there so you can keep it in whatever position that you want his arms are they kind of dangle but you can strap them to the chair they come with velcro he comes with more velcro straps to strap his ass to the chair yeah i i only keep one of the hand straps on at least on this chair because if i keep both of them on then it's going to restrict his movement and that's very bad I think I forgot to mention this, but this animatronic was sold for a lot of years. He was sold on Spirit's website in 2012, 2013, 2014, and I think they just kind of had leftovers, like a shit ton of leftovers since then. So the last year that he was ever sold was 2018, and that's when I got mine. He's worked perfect, perfectly for me ever since. These uh, somewhat newer ones with the newer thrashing mechanism don't tend to break very much. The old one, the uh, piece that holds everything into place and makes him thrash right, it would break. So he would continue to, th he, he would still thrash, just not how he's supposed to. And it looked really weird and it was a lot slower. But mine is still in perfect working condition. Uh, and I genuinely love this prop. He's not the, like, he doesn't have the most movement, obviously, but he's I, another prop that the effect is really good with. Like, I'm gonna put him in my freak show theme this year for my haunt. I'm gonna put a bunch of strobe lights around him, and then a bunch of blinky lights, like, strapped around the, like, a chair. And it's not gonna be this chair, also. And with that, I feel like he's gonna have a lot greater of an effect, you know? There used to be a high voltage electrical box that was sold with him. It had a lever on it and you could uh, press the lever and it would act as essentially just a chimey button but cooler. The panel would flip open and reveal like his skull and shit and then he would start thrashing immediately then. It was really cool. Unfortunately they've become much more rare than the prop itself. That sucks. Usually they cost more than him. Although but they've recently been popping up more on different services, which is nice. I was about to get one, but then it sold immediately before I could buy it. So, that sucked, but oh well. But yeah, I think he still has batteries in him. Uh, just three batteries, though. So that he doesn't just activate out of nowhere. 
that's usually how I have most of my techie props or just really any of my shit with batteries in him. And yeah, he's sound activated. He has a pretty good sound sensor. I think he has a motion sensor as well in his mouth. At least I think so. I don't know. There's like a weird thing, piece of the molding in his mouth. And I think it's a motion sensor, but I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, even if it is a motion sensor, it's not a very good one. So, huh, I'll activate him. Also, I believe he does have a timer, uh, like most old techie props did. I found a battery. Also, yeah, he takes either four AA batteries or you can run him out a 6-volt 2 amp adapter. I believe he's already on, so he'll activate once I put the battery in. Oh, he sat up so much. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, again, he's a lot quieter than the rest of my techie props, but it's not to the point where I think his speaker's broken. I think it just might be how he's made. But I don't mind it at all. It just means that I can activate him at night without being scared of waking up my family. Speaking of activation, I'm pretty sure he, ha he does actually have a motion sensor, because I walked past him not making much noise, and he still went off. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but... Anyway, I'll activate him again. Maybe. Shit. Hi, yeah, I forgot that I had deadlift zombie plugged in. The only reason that I even keep him plugged in sometimes is because of how shitty his sound sensor is, so usually I'm pretty confident that he's not going to activate. I'm pretty sure he has a motion sensor. That scared the fuck out of me, oh my god. All right, well, I've already activated him a couple more times. I'll probably get some more footage tomorrow. If you couldn't tell, I kind of feel like shit right now, and that's why I'm very quiet. I'm gonna try to take the batteries out. So many times when he <laughs> kept fucking slapping into me. Yeah, he thrashes a lot, if you can't tell. Like, to the point where sometimes he'll actively lift up the chair. But yeah, really good prop. I think these are these are pretty easy to get. They're not rare at all, actually. So you can still get these. Um, I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm gonna go uh, gonna go get the product ready.